Do you have any sense of destiny? You know, what is this all meant for? And what's down the road? Or are you just taking it one day at a time? These aren't just great athletes. They're a fascinating assortment of personalities. My name is Kyle Fisher. I partied at the Vic from 2017 to 2021. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, we got Cameron Kinsey, Dayton, Ohio. Beans! 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 Beans with a cane. What's up? At the heart of the crew is a rare spirit known as Peanut. No one knows his actual name, and he refuses to share it because it would be, and I quote, an act against God. We, uh, we created an image that people wanted to be a part of. I guess that's all you can really hope for. It's war! It's war! To the Vic boys, getting absolutely obliterated is starting to feel almost like a constitutional right. The boys took their fifth beer Olympics on Monday night. I'm gonna shotgun for Ian Johnson. I mean, we're feeling really, really confident. We are just getting after it in Nashville, and we are ready to take the streets of Athens by storm. Let's go, Gregson! I just kept hearing it was over, and it was over, and I was getting irritated because we kept winning. We felt like we were the greatest team ever. Midway through spring break 2020, the Vic Boys had already won a Beer Olympics and the Great American Challenge. We were primed to dominate for our third straight fest season. We were coming off two championships, and then things, they went the way they did. Ohio shutting down public schools for three weeks. Maryland schools closed for two. Also, New Mexico, Michigan, and Oregon school. I was devastated. We were ready to delete a record number of beers that fest season. Gregson. Gregson. The Vic has a rich history of wild parties. The structure isn't solid, the floors are sticky, but the memories made there make up for that. Prior to the 2017 season, we struggled to put together many wins. I mean, we're talking about constant blowout losses in Pong, Beer Ball, Flip Cup, you name it. We knew early in the freshman season that that spring, we were gonna have to really train hard come to the fests. We were essentially gonna have to build a dream team. Oh, okay. it, brother, brother. I'll never forget when I shotgun my first beer. I mean, it was freshman year. The boys at the Vic at the time said, you need to get to the Vic right now. I said, all right, you know, I'm doing whatever they say. So I got down there and they said, hey, freshman, you got to shotgun this beer. And I said, all right. All right, let's go. go, go. You know, partying at the Vic was something I always used to say is like, uh, you got to get up if you want to get down, you know. If you wanted to get down and dance on the dance floor, you had to be ready. You had to be up. You got to be drinking liquids beer that is, and some water to stay hydrated because we are athletes out there. We were going balls to the wall. Cam, I've, I think, is my best teammate of all time. We, we don't do what we did without Cam. He, he was our glue guy. Anytime people got drunk and wanted to throw hands, Cam was there and he was always there to back up the boys. Things Cam was able to teach me, I carried with me through the rest of my career. You're in the ground! <laughs> I learned more from Cam than I did in like any of my classes in my career. Freshman season, that was a, that was an eye-opening experience. Um, this wasn't high school anymore. This was the big leagues, and we really had to step into our own. It really wasn't until spring break that year that we really got the hang of deleting beers at the rate that we really needed to. That spring break was the first Beer Olympics for most of those guys. Uh, it was in Panama City Beach. The weather was amazing. We out here. We really struggled with that first Beer Olympics, um, but I think that's what really helped us grow as a team. Even when it was too late and it looked like we weren't going to win, you know, 
Kyle never gave up. Every time I crack open a beer, my focus is to win the game. It drives me insane when I can't. After the PCB Olympics, I wanted to administer pain. So these guys go into their freshman fest season to win nine straight games of beer pong to secure their first ever Beer Olympics championship. It was the first of many, but I will never forget that feeling. You know, I'm the one that created this animal. No one can say I was a bad teammate. I was the one that wanted to get out there. I wanted to get my nose broken. I wanted to get cut. Beans is one of the smartest guys I ever drank with. He has no limits to what he can do. He was a big contributing factor to our success. I mean, he was insane. He was a freaking animal. Beans had a Hall of Fame career on his own before ever joining the Vic. Anytime that Beans was given a four loco, he would shotgun it. Then he would throw it all up. And then he would just proceed to rally through the rest of the night. It was quite the spectacle. Beans and I, we had a love-hate relationship because, you know, we started off as opponents. You know, the way he could defend and rebound a pong ball, I, I thought he was better than me. And that made it personal. I couldn't let anyone beat me. I had to keep getting better. So following the 2017 season was when Beans joined up with the Vic Boys. I think he really started to see the dynasty potential that we were building during the freshman year. How did that first meeting go? Awful. You know, the guys realized I was a special breed. I, I really couldn't be tamed. Coming here is one of the best things. I think we're getting hustled. Walt Disney, it's its own self-governing city. Did you know that? So we're in Nashville, Great American Challenge and Beer Olympics in hand, but COVID ruined all of our plans for fest season. Peanut had a way to keep us focused on fading. He kept the outside distractions out. So I just figured that if there weren't going to be any fest for their junior season, that just meant we had to train extra hard for their final senior season. I mean, that whole COVID summer, I mean, we really got after as a team. Like, it didn't matter if we were in Athens, on a family vacation, or just at home, because we couldn't all be together at once all the time, but we were all putting in the work on our own and getting completely obliterated day in and day out. We wanted to be fully ready. With it being our last year, we wanted to go out with a bang. We owed it to ourselves that our senior season was going to be a movie. What kind of movie? Walt Disney. Fresh off their phenomenal end to their freshman season, the Vic boys are hungry and primed to make another run at it this season. So that's why I told the boys, your only success at the moment of the successful act, you're going to have to do it again. Sophomore season was one of my favorite ones. We had an amazing Halloween, Tri Meet, Homecoming, and Mac party. And that was just in the fall. That season, you know, we were able to have a lot of parties. And thanks to Beans, we secured our first win in the beer mile at Tri Meet. This wrong. You know, I don't even remember the first beer mile. I just remember it was really cold. <clears throat> that stretch during the season was tough and grueling at times. Uh, not only did we have the beer mile, we had two case races and two beer Olympics, followed up by, of course, the Destin Spring Break Championships and best season. I remember Kyle was hard on us that year. He wasn't afraid to call you out if you weren't drinking enough. I think it might have been all the sugar. I really started getting into Four Locos and Four Loco betting that season. It was honestly kind of disgusting. You heard of Four Loco, right? Uh, so you make a bet with someone, and the winner gets to give a Four Loco to the loser at any time. They have an hour to drink it, and that's pretty much the rule. We, we respect, you know, if you have an exam or um, certain, certain big things, like uh, people won't give it to you right before a class, but I mean, when it's just in the evening or weekend, man, you're just chilling. You lost a Loco bet to someone that you, you probably completely forgot about it. He's coming up to me, he's gonna hand you a Loco and say, drink this. And you have to. You, you have to honor the bet. And at that point, Kyle started making loco bets at an alarming rate. and Some of them were really stupid, I might add. Basketball game outcomes. Wee bowling. Who could shotgun the beer faster? You name it. I was probably putting a loco bet on it. It started to become national news. People started to think that it was going to affect his play. Some people thought that maybe he wouldn't be trying as hard to win because of his gambling debts. I don't know if I believe that. Would you say you have a gambling problem? No, I, I don't have a gambling problem. It's, it's a hobby. I enjoy it. If I had a gambling problem, I'd be starving. I'd have to hawk this watch or my championship rings. I'd sell my house. I'd do this. I'd do that. I enjoy gambling. It's a hobby. I knew I had to put all the doubters in check.
When we finally made it to senior season, things were not as we expected. That all of the organized events like homecoming, Halloween, fests, they were all at risk of being canceled. For the second straight year, I was devastated. Was it all for nothing? I mean, it, it sent us to a real dark place. What was the point of the past three years of boozing and beer pong championships and training if we weren't even gonna get that senior fest season? And it felt like it was all for nothing. Oh my God! I think we did the best we could under those circumstances. I mean, we won a lot of championships over those two and a half years, and it's not like we didn't get after it. What happens to, what does water turn into when it gets lower than 32 degrees? Ice. 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 When you're training for the big dance, uh, the huge fade that is fest season, and you don't even get to have it the year when you actually turn 21. It just doesn't feel complete. <laughs> you know, once we were tired, we still got after it time to time, but it wasn't really the same. It, it wasn't like the Vic days. Uh, you know, we were more cleaner, more appropriate public. It, it, it didn't feel right. There had to be some sort of redemption arc to this story. I mean, even though our four years was done and up, so much of it felt like it was taken from us. Sometimes legacy means taking back what's rightfully yours. We saw that there was gonna be a fest season, the first one back in over two years, right after our retirement. And I think we all thought that it was time to assemble the dream team one last time. I remember thinking I'm tired, I'm exhausted. But I have one last fade in me.